I got you. Anyway, yo, so niggas been sending me this shit recently, right? By the way, yeah, Tori's right. Act tells on lies. Come on, man. Truthful nigga, man. Look at this. Look at this one. Niggas was like, yo, the fall off continues. Snitch nine down to his last dollars. Spotted flying economy on Spirit Airlines. Niggas still wearing a ski mask even at 20,000 feet above sea level. <laughs> yo, Chad. Well, <laughs> be honest. It does look goofy with the little fucking like thing on. However, I will say this. I'm gonna be honest with you. The, the, six nine doesn't fly. Well, he only flies. Pri uh, he might have flew private when it was his girl's birthday, but he don't really pay for private as much. When I went on a private jet with him, the it was the promoter for the concert who paid for a private jet. Like again, I'm giving out a real six nine flies like economy. Like niggas don't pay for first <clears throat> first class. That nigga is mad regular. I don't think it's a spirit, though, but who cares if it's... He flies mad regular, and I always wonder, I'm like, yo, does nobody see you in the airport? Because a lot of times, like, I be really... I try to hide myself in the airport, and I'm not as known as him. But, like, the nigga would be like, yo, Ack, I'm flying to New York. I'm like, for what? He's like, yo, 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 I'm, I'm going to Brooklyn to chill for a little bit. What are you talking about? And I always wonder, I'm like, is he going to Teterboro? Like, the Teterboro, that's where the, the, the private jets fly. No, 6 9 is just on a plane, nigga. He don't give a fuck. <laughs> like, that nigga probably just paid $300 for the flight and he's on. On that bitch. He don't care. I'm sorry to tell y'all. You get me? Well, I think you need to put out music. I'll be honest with you. That nigga, he doesn't give a fuck. He one of them, like, he one of them niggas who kind of like, it's almost embarrassing how much he don't care. He the type of nigga to go, go take a full diarrhea shit at, like, a public bathroom at the gas station. Like, me, I can't take a shit unless it's in my crib. Like, 6 9 nigga be like, yo, 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 pull over, pull over, pull over, pull over, pull over. I gotta go, I gotta go take a shit. And go in the bathroom at fucking Shell and blow that bitch up like it's Friday after next, nigga. I kid you not. It's weird. And the funny part about it, I always ask them, like, yo, don't niggas, don't niggas, like, be, like, testing you, like, when they see you, like, on the flights and shit? But I learned a very important lesson. One day, so, you know, again, I try, especially, like, if I'm doing a six-hour flight, I try to be first class because, you know, nigga a little bit big boned it, but I ain't trying to fucking, like, just sit like this for six fucking hours. And that's going from, um, like, New York or New Jersey to L.A. Anyway, one time I'm coming back, and I think it was a last-minute flight. That's the only time I usually don't get first class or something. It's a last-minute flight, but, like, we do a lot of shit last minute. So, we fucking just booked a ticket this and third. It was a bunch of us on the flight, but we, the, you know it's last minute because they didn't even give us seats that were together. So, we're just random, whatever. So, I'm in between these two random people. I don't know who they are, right? I ain't gonna lie to you. First of all, I've been working my ass off. Y'all know me. When I get drunk on, on, on stream, I just pass out here. So, like, when I'm already, like, extra tired and I just only stayed up to check in my shit and get in the airport, bro, I fall asleep, like, literally, like, on the plane. Now, here's the thing. I'm going to keep it 100 with you. I fall asleep on the nigga's shoulder. Pause. Like, no, no, no funny shit. No funny shit. I'm like, I fall asleep for six hours. I ain't going to lie to you, Drew, running up my mouth, everything. Shit don't look good. It's all, it's all good. I keep it 100 with you. Whatever, whatever. Put it like this. This was six straight hours. That nigga never one time mushed me off. He ain't never been like, yo, bro, never did nothing like that, right? All of a sudden, I guess, like, so we land or whatever, whatever. Now, like, I don't even think I had to go to baggage claim because I think I just had, like, a small bag. I guess somebody who knew him but followed me sent me a picture and be like, yo, act. Yo, there was a nigga next to you, like, recording you while you sleeping, and the captions a nigga had was wild. Yo, look at this bitch-ass nigga, academics right here. Bro, I'm sleeping on his shoulder. Like, pause. I'm like, nigga, how you gonna type all that online? And I'm, like, sleeping on your shoulder like, yo. Oh, oh, well, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, uh, three little. Like, like, nigga, I'm over here sleeping like a baby on his shoulder. That's when I realized, yo, a lot of times when niggas film you. So even though, like, so so I don't know if this is the person who filmed it. Niggas like, yo, the fall off continues. That nigga probably asked that nigga for a picture, bro. Like, 
Even when when, when Lee Chopper told me his story with the people, like, bro, the nigga wanted a picture. He just came in the bathroom. Wanted a picture with, with Lee. Lee was like, he had his earphones in. Now the nigga feel offended. This and third. He's seen somebody there. He feel like he can make a moment. He try to make a moment. But, bro, like, I don't believe this is, um, number one, uh, I'm going to keep it 100 with you. Oh, I, oh, I'll give you another story. I'm going from Florida. When I went through the Roddy Rich shit, I'm going from Florida to L.A. We get on the plane. I didn't even know. The guy who who owns Rolling Loud was on there, too. All of a sudden, like, I'm chilling because I'm so tired. It was a 6 a.m. flight. I'm about to go to sleep. Right before I go to sleep, I see, like, a nigga who looked like Fat Boy SSC get on the plane. Nigga, I'm, I ain't going to lie to you, like, because, bro, like, you know me. I, 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 it's not like I want to be loud or obnoxious. But, bro, like, plane flights are mad boring. So I was like, yo, I said, yo, Reeve, I think that's Fat Boy SSC. Anyway, Fat Boy, like, there wasn't much people on the flight. It's, it's an early morning flight. Nobody was really on it. Fat Boy comes back to where we're at. Like, we have, he has a whole section, and we cracking jokes the whole, we're all in the economy, brother. Like, that's one of the things I think people got to, like, bro, like, the niggas who flex that they're only doing private and shit like that, good for them niggas, but you're going to be exposed. If Six Star has done that, well, this is an exposal for him. But like, I'm gonna be honest with you, nigga. I try to, I try to get like you know first class when I can, especially for long flights. But shit, if I'm ever in economy, me and Fat Boy uh, was in economy and we were just cracking jokes back and forth, nigga. That shit was hilarious and I had fun. I don't give a fuck, my nigga. Now if somebody took a picture of us, be like, yo, look at these broke ass niggas in fucking economy, nigga. We had each of us had three seats to each other. We both chilling. I, like, I don't think it's a big deal, but I think there's a perception that because you're popular or because people think you're rich or famous, you're supposed to be flying private. Bro, I remember when Youngboy young boy was going from Chicago to, to back to uh, Baton Rouge or like New Orleans, or maybe it was Houston. I forgot what it was. And that's when we did the interview that never came out. He said, yo, act, yo, could you meet me in, in, in Philly? I said, yeah. He said, bet. He rerouted the jet. He told the people from the jet to stop in Philly, the the, the private airport. <coughs> I, I pulled up on him. We chilled, kicked it. We drove around the city. Like, the, the plane just sat on the tarmac. Like, it's like almost like fucking Uber. It just sits on the tarmac waiting for him to tell the pilots, let's go. Like, the pilots are just there just like, okay. You know what I mean? He told me that detour, right, to come from Chicago to Philly, and just be there with me for that time was forty thousand dollars. Uh nigga, I'm sorry, I'm not doing that. Often. I'm, I, I do, I do have plans, and hopefully one day, you know, what I mean, like it's not a flex thing, just like maybe like a special really day I could like buy or like pay for like a, a private jet. And it's not, it's not about affording it. It's just that I just don't think that's necessary. Like this seat that six nines at, sitting at, bro, it's probably like three hundred bucks. Bro, you not about to shame me. I don't care how rich I am. You're not about to shame me if I'm okay with this to spending sixty thousand. If I'll give you some private jet prices, because like these private jet people hit me up to fly. If you want a jet, right? So say I'm going to L.A. and I don't know. Say it was All Star Weekend and I wanted to take a private jet from Teterboro to L.A. Right? And I told them I wanted um seven to eight people on it. So that's a certain jet class that could fit that amount of people. So they're going to go there and say I tell them I'm going to the flight there is at a certain time and then coming back is at a certain time. They only they only care about the time in between. So it's like you're renting jet for the whole time if it's a round trip. You get me? Because essentially they don't care if they take off late. When they go there, they have to wait for you. So it's like if, if, if it's for eight hours or if it's for 12 hours, you could fucking go there for an hour. And they're going to charge you the same thing. They're just going to look at you like you're an idiot. You know what I mean? So a lot of times people take a jet somewhere, do a show, get on the same jet, come back. To go from like L.A., to go from here to like L.A. Um, and come back, it's probably going to cost like, this is for like seven people. Remember, this is seven seats. Seven, eight people, right? It's probably going to cost like Seventy thousand, seven to eighty thousand, yeah, probably eighty thousand, and and that would be for like twelve hours. So we leave nine a.m. in the morning, right, and then we're gonna leave at like say like nine ten p.m. at night. Again, for some people, it might be worth like eighty thousand dollars. I'm sorry, everybody's getting three hundred off flights. Okay, 
seven three hundred dollar flights or seven four hundred dollar flights is gonna cost me like motherfucking what's it seven times four twenty eight hundred bucks. That's gonna be well better than eighty thousand dollars. You get what I mean? Like, but that's for me though. You know what I mean? And it's also I know rappers who later on complain about money, but they've already is because they've flexed a lifestyle that they know they would look broke if they fucking flew commercial. Like there's certain rappers who flex a private jet they don't own that they're renting or their label is paying for that. Now, if you've seen them on a, on a regular jet, you look at them and be like, yo, bro, you're broke. Like, you know, all these things who act like they own the jet. They'd be like, yo, me and Gunner, we're back to back on the tarmac. Yeah. You both spent like $40,000 to be on this jet. Or your label's paying it. So that's 40000 for you and 40000 for him. It's not like you own the fucking jet. You know what I mean? And um, when you realize, like, the label usually cover a lot of these costs, okay, cool. Get to a point where the label is not down to cover every cost because it may, 6 ix 9 probably wasn't, no, he definitely wasn't going to no show. So why the fuck would his label cover it? Right? He's still making music right now. He's not doing no shows. He's going back and forth to New York because, you know what I mean, he want to link with certain people or he got to do certain shit. You know what I mean? He be moving around. His label won't pay for it. So for him to keep up the lifestyle, according to people online, he has to fucking pay $80,000 or like from Florida to like, uh, what, what, what was it? Florida to like, you know, New York. Let's say he's going to New York. Probably a little cheaper, 60, 60, 50. Back forth, you feel me? So you you spend sixty thousand dollars. I'm sorry. One thing I definitely say about this nigga six nine, like he swallows his pride in the sense of, yeah, he does flex. Don't get me wrong, he does flex. But he one of the niggas who like, remember when he just got on? That nigga used to wear the same clothes like for like three days in a row. He's not the like you know what I mean? It's, it's weird. And shit, I like to be in that space too, where it's like. Niggas, no, you ain't exactly broke, but, like, nigga, you're not just going to spend your money on dumb shit. So for people, and I guess I'm just addressing this overall because I've seen people was like, oh, yo, we've seen Boosie in a coach flight. My nigga, he might have booked the flight late. Nigga, he probably went to go perform somewhere that paid him 20000 Why would he book a jet for 20000 if you – Got twenty thousand, bro. You probably bringing four people. That's two thousand dollars, and I'm pretty sure the, the promoter gonna pay for that. It, not every show they're gonna give you a private jet. Like certain shows, they're gonna be like, "Yo, we'll book your tickets." I can tell you this: I'm about to be in um um um, I'm about to be in in March. I'm about to be in Orlando for this like talent competition. They they compensated me well. You know what I mean? I I tell you how much they, they pay me like like uh. It was like fifteen or like seventeen grand to be there. I don't care. I'll take. Um, now, bro, like, you think they are gonna send me a private jet for twenty thousand dollars, my nigga? No, nigga. Like, we might get to a first class if you book it now, but nigga, other than that, nah, nigga. That's this is how it is, bro. Like, we about to, <laughs> nigga. We try to make a profit. This is all like life, you know what I mean? So sometimes people be looking at this shit and just really having it fucked up. And I feel fortunate. I'm like, shit. Trips to Florida is cheap. I could get a First class ticket for 500 bucks right now. I'm going to get a first class ticket. Cool. I'm not tripping. <laughs> so, yeah, me and you going to be on the same plane. Hopefully, I'm just in first class. If I'm not, fuck it, nigga. I'm going to go get the money. I got to go get it and come back. Who cares? You get me? <laughs> Wait, what's y'all want me to check on Twitter, bro? Like, who, who we got a body, chat? Somebody say it won't catch me flying spirit. What's wrong with spirit, bro? <laughs> Have I flown spirit? Yo, tell me how I just found out about this individual. You ever heard of this individual named um, Crip Mac? I just found out about him. I texted Adam about it. I'm like, yo, I 